fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. pioneers who first settled the western United States fought outlaws and hostile Indians to protect their new homes. They accepted gun law as a natural thing, and even the most honest ranchers prided themselves on the quickness of their draw. It was the masked rider of the plains who made them realize that there could be no peace and security on the frontier until law and order was established. It was he more than any other man who brought justice and civilization to the new territory. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Bert Walker lost his trail herd. There's going to be trouble. Hail, Silver! Away! <laughs> It was almost midnight, but Wolf Snyder's Last Chance Cafe was still going at full blast. The sound of discordant music and shrill laughter was heard clearly by Bert Walker and his grim-faced companions as they walked up the steps of the cafe and... All right, fellas. Just a second before we step inside. Yeah. This is my fight, Savvy. I don't aim to have none of you interfering. But, boss... You heard me, Vic. All you're to do is see that nobody else butts in either. When we get inside, spread out and keep an eye on things. If any of Dan's men slap leather, they're your meat. But Dan is for me, and don't forget it. We ain't forgetting. All right, come on. <laughs> Just stay behind your bar, Wolf, and get ready to duck lead. There's a skunk in here that's going to get his needin'. Now, don't you go shooting up my place, Bert. Shut up. There he is, boss. Across the room there. I see him. Spread out like I told you. Sure. Dan Bowman. I don't drink with polecats. Hey, what's wrong? Just get out of that chair. I'm waiting for you to fill your hand. Stand aside, folks. Anybody getting between me and Dan there is likely to get hurt. What's got into you, Bert? You gone loco? You and me have been sharing the contract for government beef. Sure we do, but what's that... Shut up! But you've been getting notions. You've been getting the idea you'd like to have that contract all for yourself. No such thing. You stampeded my trail herd before I could make delivery. I lost near all of them. I got a warning from the agent. One more failure to make delivery and my part of the contract's canceled. You say I stampeded your cows, you're crazy. Slap leather. Somebody shut him out. Get some aspirin. Hey, barkeep, light some candles. We can't see a thing. Now, don't get excited, folks. There'll be lights on in just a second. Get them candles going, barkeep. There, Wolf. There they are. Boss, fine. Hey, where's Bert got to? Hey, 
What's that? Boss. Hey, boss. He's gone. If Dan done this... Dan's going too. Well, I'll Ain't be... Ain't no sign of either one. But what's happened to him? Hey, they disappeared that? while the lights was out. Where have they got to? It's a doggone funny thing. Beats me. Vic, maybe they went outside to settle their fight. You'd better take a look. Yeah, I reckon I better. The excitement's over, gents. There's nothing more to worry about. Line up the bar and name your poison. The barkeep will take care of you. The drinks are on the house. Wolf Snyder's invitation for a free drink on the house brought the customers to their feet, and they crowded close to the bar. During the confusion, Wolf slipped quietly to the back of the cafe and spoke in a low voice to a man hidden behind the stairway, leading to the living quarters overhead. You there, Jake? Yeah. Put up your shooting irons and come out from behind there. This is spile thing. They just disappeared, huh? Slick as a whistle. Come on in my office. Thorn's waiting for us. Yeah. Get inside. Wolf, what was going on out there? Master Thorne, I wish I knew. Things go wrong? Just as wrong as they could. Who fired them shots? I don't know. It was a masked man, Wolf. I seen him just for a second when he stepped inside. A masked man? Yeah, eh? he was... Forget about it. Well, we got to figure out some other scheme. To hear you talk, Wolf, there wasn't nothing going to stop this one. Thorne, I don't know how it happened. Everything was set. I had my own fellas stampede Walker's cows... Making it look as though Bowman was the cause of it. When Walker come in here gunning for Bowman, Jack was all set to drill them both from cover while they were shooting it out. Oh, gone, Thorn. You couldn't ask for a better setup than that. It didn't work, did it? No. Look here, Wolf. I want that government beef contract. I can't get it till Walker and Bowman lose out. I hired you to see if the job was done right. But if you can't handle it, and I'll get somebody else. Well, I'll figure out something. Yeah, you don't even know where they are. For all you know, they might be together right now comparing notes. And if they do that, they're going to put two and two together and begin getting the facts straight. All right. You can... find them fellas and show me some action. Hold on, Thorn. Well? Don't go to threatening me. It wouldn't be healthy. With what I got on you, you'll string along with me and like it. You ain't got no more on me than I got on you. Then we'd be fools to split up. You just leave things to me. This will work out yet. Well, it better. Careful, oh, mask yes, man. Wolf. That's the same mask fellow that shot the lights out. Is that so? It is. Who are you? That's something you won't find out. You Don't f- reach for that gun. Take it easy, Thorn. We'll get to the bottom of this. Maybe he had something to do with Bert and Dan disappearing. Did you? Wolf, right now, both those men are my prisoners. Oh, well, What I... was the idea? Maybe I wanted to cut myself in on this game. You? What are you talking about? Game? We ain't got no game. No. Those men stand between Thorn here and a rich contract for army and reservation beef. I don't know. Jake here was instructed to shoot them, making it look as though they'd killed each other. How would you find out all that? I have my own way of learning things. I still don't see what you have to see. Where have you got Walker and Bowman? Well, you won't find them. They can't be far. They aren't. They're just outside town. When I leave here, I'm taking them to my camp. Then you're welcome to look for them as much as you want. What are you butting in for? This ain't no concern of yours. I'm making it mine. But what for? Thorne is paying you well, isn't he, Wolf? He is. So that's it. You're after cash, too, huh? Perhaps. You figure I'll pay up to have them two fellas turned over to me, is that it? I have the whip hand. You won't it. Thorne, you came to Wolf to get this job done. He ain't said so. He doesn't have to. I happen to know the facts. And Thorne couldn't have made a worse move when he hired you. Stand still. What do you mean by that? Thorne, how long do you think you could get away with murder? Till Walker's herd was stampeded, he and Bowman had always been good friends. People are going to remember that. Now look here. Keep still, Wolf. Maybe this hombre is talking sense. Go ahead, stranger. You overlooked another fact. Yeah? You made Walker believe Bowman wanted that contract for himself. Walker lost his temper and didn't stop to reason things out. If he had, he'd realize that Bowman wouldn't want the entire contract. He hasn't enough cows to fill it. Nobody would bother to think that out. That's where you're mistaken. And when they did, they'd realize that Thorne here benefited by the killings. Why would they? Somebody would have to take over the beef contract, wouldn't they? That wouldn't be reason for suspicion of Thorne. Thorne, however, is the only rancher in the district who could take over the contract. 
He's the only rancher with a large enough herd. But I... Ranger, I'm beginning to think that it's lucky we made up. Letting Wolf have his way, I might have gotten real trouble. Exactly. You for hire? I might be. Supposing I hired you, what would you suggest? I'd suggest that instead of killing Walker and Bowman, you drive them out. Yeah? Throw a scare into them. Make them believe they have their choice between giving up their contract or losing their lives. But you just now said killing wasn't safe. I didn't suggest killing. I suggested making them believe their lives are in danger. There's a difference. They'd still suspicion who was behind it. Let them suspect all they want. If you did it cleverly, they'd have no proof. How do you mean? You can handle that to suit yourself. If we come to terms, I'll deliver both men to you tomorrow night. They'll be blindfolded so they can't recognize you. How much is this going to cost me? What will you pay? Five hundred. Good enough. What time do we get them and whereabouts? At midnight tomorrow beside Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock ain't convenient. Let's make it... I said Eagle Rock. Take it or leave it. Uh, seems like I ain't got no choice. You haven't. I ain't paying you nothing till I get him. Very well. So on your loco. How do you know this fella ain't up to some trick? If he tries anything, he don't get paid. Then it's settled? Sure, stranger. I'll be on my way then. Remember, midnight tomorrow at Eagle Rock. <laughs> I'd like to catch the fella that left that back door unlocked. <laughs> What's the dog going to amuse him, Thorne? That mask, fellow wolf. <laughs> oh, golly. I don't see nothing funny about it. His button in is just going to cost you cash. That ain't it. Well? What struck me funny was that mask, fella, trying to make me think he's a crook. Huh? Why, you blamed idiot. Didn't you guess who he was? How could I with him wearing that mask? That was the Lone Ranger. No. You sure? I'm willing to bet on it. Golly, then we'd better watch our step. Wolf, this is one time the Lone Ranger gets fooled. Yeah? You savvy a scheme? Why he was so blamed anxious for us to meet him at Eagle Rock? I don't know. So he'd have the law planted there to get evidence against us. Just so. Only it ain't going to work out that way. We'll stay away, sure. But how will we get a hold of Walker and Bowman? If that fellow's a lone ranger, he'll give him a warning. That won't matter. Why won't it? Because that mask fella ain't no fool. He knows doggone well we won't go near Eagle Rock unless we see him bring them ranchers there. I suppose. But if he's going to have the law waiting there... Let him. We'll get Walker and Bowman. Only we'll get them before they reach Eagle Rock. We'll get them on their way there from the masked fellow's camp. But you don't know where his camp is. <laughs> we'll find out. And where's that engine you hired last week? The one you said could follow a trail with his eyes closed. Right, Al? Yeah, get him in here. Go ahead, Jake. The engine's in the bar room. Bring him in here? Yeah. You're figuring on the redskin trailing the masked man, huh? Right. Maybe he won't be able to. And if he ain't as good a trailer as he claims to be, it's time you was find it out so she can save his wages. Well, it's worth trying. Here he is. Get in there, Redskin. The boss wants to talk to you. Uh huh? Red Elk, you've been telling me how good you can follow sign. Me heap good. Could you follow the trail of a horse at night? Me do that. Then that's what you're going to do right now. Oh. Where trail? Oh, there's a feller in here just now. Come in the back way. So he must have had his horse waiting out back. You can pick up his trail from there. Uh, Jake. Yeah? You'll go along with the engine. I want somebody with him I can trust. And if we find that mass fella's camp... Just get back as fast as you can and let us know where it is. And don't let him know you found it, neither. We won't. Then get on with you. Right. Come along, engine. Uh. <laughs> well, that's that. And, Wolf, if that redskin finds a masked man's hideout, we've got things all our own way. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
got to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger left the Last Chance Cafe, he returned to the edge of town where Bert Walker and Dan Bowman, securely tied, awaited him. Mounting his two prisoners on extra horses, he led the way across country to his well-hidden camp in a small wood. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. All right, out on the saddle. Here, your hands are tied. I'll help you, Bert. Now, Dan. If this is a stunt you and Bert fixed up between you. It isn't. That me and the masked man fixed up. Why, drat your hide, Dan. If anybody planned this, it was you. You don't know what you're... Both of you keep still. But don't you... I'll do the talking. You'll both remain tied until I'm finished. You better talk fast. If I hadn't interfered, you men would be dead. Dan would. Why, you know Quiet. I said both of you, and I meant both of you. Bert, you let yourself be tricked. Dan had nothing to do with the stampeding of your trail herd. That ain't so. My crew seen one of Dan's men. Which one? Tex Seeley. And Tex is really in the pay of Wolf Snyder. What? Now, I'd like to know what this is all about. Bert saying I was after the whole beef contract for myself, and you saying Tex is a crook. He is. You got proof of that? I'll tell you the facts, and you can judge for yourself. In the first place, for the last month, there have been rumors at the fort that Thorne was going to take over the government beef contract. Thorne? Yes. No one seemed to know why or how. So I came here to investigate. Thorne. Then, Tex gambles quite a lot at Wolf's place, doesn't he? What of it? And he's been winning. You know Wolf's games are crooked, did it ever occur to you that Wolf might be letting him win? Why would he? To pay Tex for selling you out. Tex let himself be seen when Bert's herd was stampeded. Bert naturally suspected you were behind it. Stranger, this sounds interesting. You, Bert, went gunning for Dan. Wolf had one of his gunmen planted in the cafe. If you'd had your fight, he would have shot both of you. And in the confusion, everyone present would have been certain you'd shot each other. How do you know all these things? You'll learn that later. Do you believe what I've told you? Well, it did seem funny that after me and Dan being friends for so long, he'd try to break me. Well, I was so mad I didn't stop to think. You don't have to believe me. Tomorrow night, I'll give you proof. Of what? Proof that Wolf is behind this trouble. And that Thorne, in turn, is behind him. Thorne's hired him? He has. How'll you prove it? I called on Wolf and Thorne after I took you from the cafe. I let them think I was a crook who wanted money. Tomorrow night, I'll turn you over to Thorne, and he'll pay me. So you are in with him. I'm not. But you said you were going to give us up. Because it's the only way to bring Thorne and Wolf to justice. You'll understand when the time comes. But I don't see In it. the meantime, if you'll give me your words not to escape, I'll release you. Well, I don't cotton much to being tied. If you don't promise, you'll stay tied. How long does that promise hold? Until tomorrow night. I'll promise. I'll get a hankering to see what's going to happen. And you, Bert? Stranger, you got my word, too. Take off these ropes. Wolf Snyder's Last Chance Cafe had long since closed for the night. But as dawn came, Wolf and Thorne still waited in the former's office. At last, they heard two horses thunder to a stop outside. Then, someone knocked on the door. Who's there? It's me, Wolf. Jake, come in. Well? The engine done it. Is that right, engine? You find that mask fuller's camp? Uh, me find them. Whereabouts? Over in that woods beyond the creek. Beyond the creek? That's the other side of Eagle Rock. Uh-huh. <laughs> Engine, you earned your keep. Wolf, I'm telling you, I never seen such trailing. He could see sign where it was so doggone dark, I could hardly see the ground. He got there almost as fast as the redskin know where he was going right from the first. <laughs> You're going to come in handy, Red Elk. Well, Thorne, what do you think? Jake, how close did you get to the mask fellow's camp? <laughs> close enough to learn you had things figured right. Yeah. You hear him talking? Yeah, just so. What'd he say? <laughs> Said he struck a bargain with you to deliver them fellas at Eagle Rock for cash. Said when he'd done that same, it was going to jail you. <laughs> jail us, huh? I reckon not. What have you got in mind? Jake, sit down here. Now, you two look here. Yeah? yeah. Say this is Eagle Rock, Savvy. That'd make it just about halfway between here and where Jake says the mask fellas' camp is. Huh? That's right. All right. Now, the creek is about halfway again from the rock to the camp. Meaning? <laughs> Meaning that there's plenty of cover near the creek. Plenty of cover, Wolf, for, say, about four or five of your men. And then? The masked fellow set off from his camp with Walker and Bowman. He expects us to meet him at Eagle Rock. That's where you'll have the law waiting for <laughs> I get it. Only he don't reach Eagle Rock, huh? Just so. Your men will be waiting for him where he ain't expecting it, at the creek, before he gets to the rock. And out of gunshot or where the law will be hiding. Good enough. But you don't sound like you was planning to help, Thorne. I ain't. Neither is Wolf. We're staying in town, so we'll have alibis. Sure, you fellas will stay in town. And if anything goes wrong, it's us that get the blame while you stay in the clear. Don't be a fool, Jake. You'd get the blame anyhow, even if we was along, wouldn't you? You ought to take the same chance as the rest of us. I'm paying for this job. 
What's more, if you fellas should slip up, then you still got me and Wolf free to look out for you. What good would it do to have us all jailed? Well... Besides, nothing's going wrong. So don't worry about it. I ain't. It was you that seemed to be doing all the worry. That'll be enough of that, Jake. Owen's the boss here. All right. Well, Owen, what do you want me to tell the boys? Should they drill them fellas or just take them prisoners? They can drill the mask man uh-huh. and take Walker and Bowman prisoner. The mask fellow was trying to trick us, but he gave us some good advice just the same. Yeah? <laughs> sure. What's the use of killing them fellas to get that beef contract when a good scare will work just as well? Maybe so. And when they find out even the Lone Ranger can't help them, I got a notion they'll scare easy. (laughs) That night, the outlaw Jake led a half dozen horsemen, made a wide detour around Eagle Rock, then pushed on toward the creek the masked man would cross on his way to keep his appointment. Arriving at the stream, they urged their horses into a dense thicket. Pull up, fellas. This'll do. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. What time you got, Jake? Can't be much after 11. We ain't too late. Thought you wanted to get here earlier. Yeah, and I would have if I hadn't wasted time looking for Wolf before we started. Couldn't find him no place. What'd you want him for? Oh, nothing particular. Just to find out if he had any special orders is all. But he won't around, huh? <laughs> Likely he kept away on purpose. Likely he figured if there was a slip-up, maybe somebody'd recollect Jake talking to him. Put two and two together. Yeah, that'd be his way. Huh. Wolf and Thorn. They don't come no slicker. Them fellas don't never take chances. Suits me. They can do the scheming and I'll do the work. But just as long as they pay good. Oh, I ain't kicking. Hey, Injun. Uh-huh. You keeping a sharp watch on the trail the masked man will come? Um, me watch them. See that you do. There's a hill on the other side of the creek. When they top it, you ought to be able to see him again in the sky. Uh-huh. Just drill the mass, fella? Yeah, I'll take him. Hmm. We ought to drill Bowman and Walker, too. Wolf and Thorn said not to. They killed Thorn's the only one that had gained by it. They'd leave a straight trail <laughs> pinting right at him. If they ain't killed, they'll recognize us. I oh, know they won't. Why not? The mass fella said he'd deliver them blindfold. That ain't saying he will. Why won't he? He's got sense enough to make it look like he's keeping his part of the bargain, ain't he? He said blindfolded, and they'll be blindfolded. Just to keep it looking right. Uh-huh. Then the idea is just to give them ranchers a scare. All right. Huh? One that'll stick. One that'll persuade them they don't want that beef contract no longer. And convince them they better not do no loose talking afterwards. You, Pete. Yeah? You're a good roper. You take the one closest to you. Sure. Squint will take the other. If either one of you misses, the other will lend a hand. I yeah. am. And yeah. don't be afraid to handle them rough. Drag them right off their horses, Savvy. Sure. <laughs> Shake them up a bit, huh? Just so. When you got them on the ground, put spurs to your horses and drag them right back to the creek. It'll take some of the spunk out of them. It'll kind of hint that maybe they'd better listen to reason. And <laughs> <laughs> well, we let them get to this side of the creek before we do anything, huh? Right. Then come. Yeah, they just opened the rock. Oh, out, you fool. Now get this, fellas, and get it straight. Because there ain't much time left for talking. Go on. Have your ropes ready. See that they don't catch on nothing. Let them cross to this side of the creek and wait till I give the word. I'll drill the mask man. You fellas rope Bowman and Walker and pull them back through the creek. That's straight now. And don't open your mouths again till I yell. <laughs> hey, like, Blast it, I said to keep I shouting. I know it, I know it, Jake. But look, you can just make them out. Bowman and Walker are blindfolded, all right. The mask fella put gunny sacking over their heads. Yeah, so much the better. Now keep shut. They're almost to the creek. Keep going. Both of them. closer. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Get him. Get him. I'm telling the mask fella! Oh, you come on! Ah, uh, miss! Blasted Redskin, you bumpy! You spoil my aim! I rope for him! Oh, I got the other! Then pull him from their saddles! Drag him through the creek! Get up there, boy! Come on! Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! That's enough, men! We ain't to kill him! Who? Oh, oh, there! Who? Oh, oh. Come on, we'll pick him up. The mask man will be coming back with the law. He's got the right eagle rock first. There's time enough. Look at them, fellas. Ain't they in sight? The clothes just about tore off of them. <laughs> They'll be squeezing water from their hides for a month to come. <laughs> See the path they made when they was dragged up the bank. They made a furrow like they was plowed. Hey. Huh? What's the matter? There's something wrong. These fellas... There can't be nothing wrong. There is. Neither Bowman or Walker is as tall or hefty as these fellas. By thunder. Wait, wait, Jake. Yeah, Cut second off, quick. Wait, wait. Well, I said do like I tell you. All right, get back. I'll do it myself. Pete, give me your knife. Just a second. All right. Here you are. Uh, Pete, who does Jake think we got? I squint. I don't know. Uh, golly. Wolf. And Tom. You fools. Oh, you blasted idiots. You're no good, Adelheaded Mavericks. We don't knock your heads off. You like to kill us. 
Oh, my knee. But, Wolf, Mr. Thorne, how is we to know? We thought you was Bowman and Walker. We never met you. Pull us out of the saddle. Drag us through the creek. I'll show you. Oh. No, Wolf, no. Don't hit me, please. You're scared. Oh. No, then. Talk up, and you'll get the same as I give Jake. Oh, well, oh, well, which one of you told the mask fuller about our scheme? Which one of you let him know so she could come to town and take me and Thorn prisoner? That's why Jake couldn't find you before we left. Speak up, Lester. The mask fuller knowed the whole thing. He made us change clothes with them ranchers. He put that gunny sacking over our heads just so it couldn't be told who we was. Talk or I'll give every one of you just what I give Jake. Oh, well, wait a minute, Wolf. Uh, wolf. wolf. Oh, coming to, huh? Maybe you need some more. Wait, Wolf. The engine was... What about the engine? When I shot at the masked man, he bumped me. I thought it was accidental. But maybe he done it a purpose. Redskin, what about that? You stand back. Yeah, the engine. It was him that was such a good trailer he could follow the masked man right to his camp. By thunder, he knowed where that camp was all the time. It was him told us out. I'll show. Oh, oh what my hell. Right? You'll do nothing, Thorne. Come on, Marshal. Stand where you are. Stand up with your hands. The U.S. Marshal. Yes, and here's Bowman and Walker. To see you, Crooks Jail. And a good riddance to the lot of you. We never harmed nobody. We you tried, and we heard enough to prove it. Well, we figured the law was at Eagle Rock. How'd you get here so fast? It wasn't time. <laughs> the law wasn't near Eagle Rock. We was hiding by the creek just like you was. Only we left our horses a ways back so they couldn't be heard. That dirty red skin. Careful, Wolf. You all right, Tonto? Uh, me all right. Tonto? Did he call you Tonto Injun? Uh, 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 me, me Tonto. Uh, you told uh, me your uh, name was Red Elk. Uh, me fool you plenty. Why? You're you... still covered, Wolf. Wolf, Tonto joined your gang for exactly this. To tell me your plans and make sure they failed. Come on, Tonto. Check, uh. <laughs> Thorne. The trap you and Wolf fixed up worked all right. But thanks to Tonto and the mask man, you was the ones that caught. <laughs> Get it up, Scout! Come on, Silver Old Boy! There's work to do! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.